Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore by function interface, which is a functional interface and that belongs to the package is called java.util.function. So in this interface, uh, we have already seen this, uh, I mean, functional interface method, right? But this functional interface method has a one uh, default method as well right so in this video tutorial basically we are going to focus into uh, this and then method right so how we can make use of this method that i'm going to show you through an, an example so to save some time i have already coded so i found this is a pretty straightforward so to, so just i have typed this example and offline and just i, I was I, i'm trying to explain you how and then works so here you can see I have defined by function uh, by uh, by function as a lambda expression right so by function has a one method is called apply right which takes two input parameters and returns some result so based on this so for this we can define a lambda expression right so I have done the same so here we I have defined I have taken by function so first input parameter is string second is integer and we want result as integer itself right and we have defined lambda expression over here so first uh, first parameter is designation right that is nothing but this is string and second input parameter is that is the this integer and just we have written lambda expression over here right so what I have written I have written if else code over here so just I'm checking designation not equal to null and is not equal to null then i go inside and check designation dot equal ignore case manager if designation is manager and i don't care about the case sensitive of this this comes in the capital or small doesn't matter for me <coughs> sorry <coughs> and age greater than is 30 then just i'm returning salary one lakh twenty thousand and similarly we have another condition if this condition does not get satisfied then flow go, will go ahead and that will check again if designation equal ignore case developer and age is greater than 25 then that will return the 90,000 right and if these two conditions does not get satisfied then finally that is returning zero and corresponding to this this if is getting this is if is not getting satisfied then this will return for a zero itself right so it's pretty straightforward so i have written the by function like this right so here if your lambda expression contains more than one statement then you will have a curly bracket open and close right now just i'm calling this by function so by function has a apply method so just i'm passing designation as a manager and is 31 and trying to check how what is the salary so when you call apply method on this by function then designation will copy over uh, here and age is getting copy over here and this will compare right so both is not null so control will go inside and here this condition will get satisfied right so here uh, i mean designation is manager and age is greater than 30 that is 31st 31 so one third one lakh twenty thousand will get written and that i'm trying to print over here now again i'm calling by function method uh, sorry again i'm calling apply method on by function and at this time i'm sending the designation as developer and is 22 so if you look into the implementation of this lambda then at this time control will satisfy this condition right so designation is developer and is is greater than 25 so i'm sending it 28 so this condition will get satisfied and 90,000 will get return right so here we are expecting to print 90,000 now now I have defined one function in function function is also a functional interface which belongs to the java dot util dot function interface right and function interface takes to one input parameter and that is integer and returns output parameter that I want as a string right so if you look into the function interface so function interface again has a apply method which takes one generic input parameter and returns the generic output right so what i have done i have defined lambda expression for that method right and what i am checking 
here I mean uh, this lambda expression contains only one parameter so you can remove this parenthesis as well so salary I am checking if salary is greater than salary is nothing but this input parameter right that is integer so just I am checking salary is greater than 1 lakh or 1000 100,000 then uh, just I am returning, returning a, uh, a string output right because here output is a string so I am saying band 5 if salary of employees greater than 1 lakh then band 5 uh, again else if his salary is greater than or equal to 80,000 then band 4 else band 3 so it's pretty simple implementation of function functional interface right and here uh, this line is more interesting now by function so which I have defined over here by function I'm calling and then method if you look into the and then then that is defined in the by function which accepts input as a function interface right so that's why I have defined function interface over here so so by function which is defined over here and then function 2 which is which I have defined over here and I'm calling apply method and by passing designation and age so what will happen this this two input will first apply on the body function so here I am sending designation as a manager and is 31 so this will get applied to uh, this lambda expression so basically at this time this condition will get satisfied and salary 1 lakh 20 thousand will get return and this return value will fit to the this function interface right so this will provide as a input to this so 1 lakh 20 thousand so this will be basically satisfy this condition and that will return the band 5 I hope you understood this line and this will print here band 5 now again I am calling and then meter on y function at this time and then then I am passing this function reference of function 2 and at this time I am passing designation as a developer and is 26 so these two input will apply on the by function which is defined over here so designation I am sending as a developer and is is 26 so that is of course greater than 25 so this condition will get satisfied right and 90,000 will get returned to by function and this input will provide to the this guy salary so uh, this will return the 90,000 and here in this and this condition will get satisfied so this condition will get failed and up uh, I mean flow will go ahead and this condition will get satisfied and that will be in the band 4 so let, let me run this application and see whatever discuss whatever we have discussed we are getting expected output or not so check it out so we were expecting first output as a one one lakh twenty thousand so that we got of course we got and second out uh, second SOP we were expecting salary ninety thousand so that we got and again for third SOP we got band 5 and fourth SOP we got band 4 so I hope you got this is a pretty straightforward here if you look into the, this lambda expression here what we have defined here there is chance to refactor this code so just I'm going to refactor this code that's so what I'll do so I have created uh, this project in pa in this project by function default method demo so I'm going to create another copy another class I would say client 2 and basically end of the session and of the video I'm going to upload this code on the github so if you download from the github then first that is called client test which contains without refactoring code and client uh, client test 2 I'm going to refactor this code so here I'm going to refactor first lambda expression so let's refactor and I would say uh, uh get salary get get salary by age and designation right designation right d i s i g so we have refactored this code right and earlier 
uh, we have discussed if your lambda expression contains only one statement then you don't need to specify curly bracket open and close even though even you don't need to specify return statement as well so this curly bracket i'm gonna delete so this bracket is not needed even you don't need to specify this return statement as well so i have refactored this lambda expression like this right similarly we have chance to refactor another lambda expression as well so here this lambda expression i'm gonna refactor and i would say uh, get band based on salary and again this curly bracket is not required this close bracket is also not required and you don't need to write the return statement as well right so now this two lambda expression is very short and crispy now you can see this source code looks very neat and clean so that's all about the refactoring so i hope you enjoyed learning this video so i'm i'm going to upload this code on the github and github location I, i'm going to specify below to the video description so that you can download and run on your local machine so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial